few years ago, my wife and I went to the rainforest, and it was in Borneo. And while we were walking with our guide, we are over there, uh, we saw some empty land. And as far as you can see, uh, trees were cut, and people were busy planting palms for oil. And that is because we use that in our everyday life, in our products, in our food, our chocolate. And and the trees are used for, for furniture. So I thought, can't we do that the other way around? And prevent this little monkey and his uh, fellow friends to become homeless in a few years. So back home, I got that idea and it said, well, it's, it's very strange that by cutting trees and polluting the soil, you add value. So I set myself a big goal. And I want to be the biggest farmer within three years in the Netherlands. And we want to use wasteland. And wasteland is land that is set aside. And set aside land is, is polluted. And it's not used anymore because of the economic developments and building activities have stopped. And on this wasteland, we want to grow the most sustainable crop in the world. It's elephant grass. And from this elephant grass, it's, which grows very fast, it takes out pollution of the soil and it uh, captures about four times more CO2 than uh, a tree forest. And we want to add value. And when you add value, you have to make some products. And we make very simple products. We make briquettes for your barbecue at home. We make animal be uh, bedding for your pets. And we also can make wood. So wouldn't it be nice if instead of uh, bringing products from Borneo to the harbor of Rotterdam, wouldn't it be nice if every IKEA store in, in the Netherlands would sell a product that comes from a piece of wasteland nearby? Isn't that better than leaving emptiness and cutting the lungs of the earth? And all what is left for the people in Borneo is a museum about how it used to be. <laughs> and TEDx is all about doing and, and connecting, so we did. And this is a piece of wasteland in the middle of Rotterdam. You can see some houses over there. And it's polluted, it's dirty, <coughs> and we cleaned it up. And we made it ready for planting. And after we did that, we planted some elephant grass and we used local labor. And we saw flowers for bees. And we give uh, education to people, uh, or to, to, to children on a primary school in the neighborhood. And we are keeping bees now on this piece of wasteland in Rotterdam. And now it looks like this. This picture is taken was taken last week. So now we want to take it to the next level. And you can see here, it's an old garbage dump. And it's about 12 football fields big. We will plant elephant grass next spring. And altogether, we are planning about 70 football fields in the Netherlands. So we do this project in Lansingerland, in Westland, and right here in Amsterdam. So let's make sure that uh, we can make some sustainable products from nearby instead of bringing them over. And let's make sure that people can spend their leisure on green fields, tracks of wasteland, filled with flowers. And let's make sure that uh, uh, the monkeys or in, in Borneo are not endangered, but uh, wasteland is. Thank you. <laughs>